The Hazel Wood by Melissa Albert. I could not put this book down, and I know this 60-second book talk is going to last about three minutes. So get comfortable, get ready to have your mind blown. Also, meet your new addiction. The Hazel Wood will cast an immediate spell on you and keep you awake long into the night, frantically turning pages. This frantic, pitch-black, twisted fairy tale hits the bookstores and our Overdrive library on January 30th, 2018. And it will no doubt land, land on a lot of bestseller lists or best of lists for 2018 by the end of the year. A movie adaptation is already in the works. Get a copy the day it comes out, read it, recommend it to your friends. You can thank me later. Alice and her mom, Ella, have been on the run for as long as Alice can remember. Alice has never met her grandmother, Althea Proserpine, who was briefly a famous author and has now retreated to her estate in the northern New York woods called the Hazel Wood. Althea's book, Tales from the Hinterland, became a cult classic that is now virtually impossible to find or way too expensive to buy when a copy emerges. Strange stories abound about the bad luck regarding those who have read the stories or who have owned copies of the books or who tried to turn them into movies. When Alice and her mom get a letter saying that Althea has died, Ella thinks their days of running are over. Alice, now 17, has only been dimly aware of what exactly they've been running from. Then Ella disappears, and Alice fears that it's either the strange and obsessive Hinterland fans who are responsible, or worse, characters from the Hinterland tales themselves. Alice enlists the help of classmate and Hinterland fan Ellery Finch, who helps Alice piece together the few clues she has. Ellery is very willing to help Alice, especially when all trails point to a visit to the Hazel Wood, a place every true fan of the tales from the hinterland wants to go. Author Melissa Albert expertly weaves fragments of Althea's twisted fairy tales into Alice's reality, and all of it is terrifyingly familiar and realistic. These fairy tales not only have teeth, they are infectious, they get under your skin. Albert's prose is literary, it's lilting, it is addictive. This is a tale that you can't leave behind even once you've finished it. It resonates long after the last page. And while there have been plenty of YA books that rework old fairy tales, Albert has taken the fairy realm and deconstructed it. There are no princes coming to the rescue, no happily ever afters. But there is some form of redemption in Alice's strength to fight her own battles and use her own grit to rewrite her future. I fully expect this novel to explode into the YA world in late January when it comes out. You'll love it. Your friends will think you are the most awesome reader ever for passing it on to them. It's The Hazel Wood by Melissa Albert.